y'all want me to tell y'all why I don't want to be uh, quote unquote a preacher in the pulpit? Because there's so many limitations on a, on a preacher in the pulpit. I was just watching this video. This guy, he chose to illustrate how Jesus is going to come back and every eye, you know, is going to be on him and this and that, a, a preacher in Mississippi. And I was just seeing some negative comments about, you know, how he used his, uh, used a little, whatever those things they use in Hollywood, you know, to uh, show like a person flying or something like that. You know, one of those harness things. So he came out, you know, on the stage like that or whatever, you know, I'm seeing people criticizing him, you know, just about him doing that. You know, when all he was, in my opinion, all he was trying to do was uh, illustrate, you know, give you a picture of how Jesus is gonna come back in the sky. You know what I mean? Come back, uh, just like Matthew chapter 24 said, Luke chapter 21, I think Luke chapter 17, Mark chapter 13, uh, it's all through the Gospels, you know, uh, Jesus coming back. It's also in Revelation um, about Jesus coming back in the sky, you know, uh, where everybody can see him and all this stuff, you know. Um, and this is the rapture. This is before the seven-year tribulation. So, uh, yeah, like I say, man, there's just so many limitations that people put on preachers in the pulpit. And I just can't do it, man. I can't. I can't have no limitations on me. I can't have people telling me what I can and can't do as far as, uh, you know, I'm spending too much money. People would be in the, in the preacher's pocket, man. You know what I mean? Like, okay, if he spends some money from the church to illustrate how Jesus is coming back, what's wrong with that, man? You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just like the way people thinking right now is just like, it's not good. You know what I mean? Like they do, they they bash preachers so bad, bro. Every time that they get a new, every time they get a new car, every time they get a mansion, every time they doing well for themselves, every time they able to get a private jet, things that rock stars and and and, and Floyd Mayweather and boxers and all these kind of people, they can get this shit. They can get the private jets and it's all ball out lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But a person who's serving God, they can't ball. For some reason, people think that they cannot ball. They think that when when Solomon, God, God asked Solomon, what do you want? I'm going to give you whatever you ask for. Solomon say, I want to have the wisdom to, to, to save these people, basically. To, to teach these people, to, you know, to, to lead these people. God say, man, since you didn't, my son, since you didn't ask, for the riches, since you didn't ask for all of those things, I'm going to give you all of those things, plus the wisdom that you want. You understand? God gives blessings. God, uh, Job had many, many possessions. Job, you understand? Had many, many, many possessions. He was rich. Uh, Abraham, when he got blessed, when he went from Abram to Abraham, he got blessed with a whole bunch of stuff. When the people of Israelite, when they were, when they, uh, the Israelites, when they, uh, when Moses prophesied and freed them through God uh, from the Egyptian captivity, they were given a whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of silver, gold, uh, all kinds of things to part that, you know, uh, riches, man, riches. God provides riches. God provides riches. It says in the Bible, I forgot which, I looked it up, but I forgot what it is, where it's at. But it, if you just look up where it says, a preacher or a person who distributes or gives the word of God is to be paid well. A person who's doing stuff like that is to be paid well. You understand? So anybody who's saying something contrary to that is going against the Bible. Now, I understand that there's people that use this as a hustle, use the gospel as a hustle, and they heart not right. And they'll pay for that from God. You understand? They are, their heart not right. They only in it for the riches. They only in it for the fame. Those people will, will answer to God himself. God will judge those people, not us. And we, because we can only see the outside. So from the outside, 
it look like they preaching and doing the good stuff, you know, doing what they supposed to, but on the inside of their heart, they really just doing it for fame, notoriety, money, a living, you understand? Like I said, shoot, people choose to be doctors as a living, you know what I'm saying? People can choose to be preachers as a living, as you know, for a living, as a job, you understand? And uh, I don't know, like I say, man, I don't know. I'm not really, uh, I'm not really opposed to that, cause like I say, you can choose any profession as your as your like as your lifestyle. You can choose to be a teacher. You can choose to be a preacher. I mean, I'm talking about to get money and make money and provide for your family. You understand? I mean, these guys go to school for four years, eight years. I'm talking about these preachers go to school, for, dedicate their lives, just like a doctor would. You know, they get doctorate degrees, master's degrees, and theology and all those kind of things. So. They've dedicated their lives to this, you understand? Like this is their career as well as some people, their passion. Some people, it's not their passion, it's just something, there may be persuasive people, or they may be able to, to be great, they're great speakers. So they choose, you know, instead of being in the secular world using their, their uh, abilities to speak and stuff, they would choose to, you know, use it for God. And they're gonna get their money that way. But. Y'all to keep thinking that, that, that it's not a career or it's not money to be made being a preacher. If I, man, listen to me. If I stop everything I'm doing and choose to preach full time, all the time, for y'all, I better be getting compensated. I better be getting money for it. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown man. I can't work for free. I can't serve y'all for free and be a bum on the streets. Are y'all freaking retarded or something? Like, why can't y'all understand that? Why is it not okay for this man to fly on stage? You know what I'm saying? What What is so crooked about that? Nothing. Nothing at all. But y'all gonna, and then I listened to the man's message and the man's message was real. This man talking about realer stuff than a whole bunch of other people be talking about. He was breaking it down. He was breaking it down from the, the, the seven year tribulation, the anti, I mean, antichrist coming, the Jesus coming back for the rapture, uh, the thousand year, thousand year reign, the battle of uh, Armageddon. He was on it, you know what I'm saying? But every, like people gonna go fly right by the great message that he's preaching that's a real real message because all people stuck on is he came out on stage like he was flying in one of those suits and stuff man like that stuff's crazy man like y'all gotta get it together man preachers can ball too preachers have to pay, get pay their bills preachers have children multiple children preachers have to feed these kids y'all keep one preachers to live on air it's crazy dude y'all want them to do nothing so that's why i can't be no preacher man because i'm gonna ball out and ain't nothing wrong with having a lot of money obviously society don't feel it is because they do all kind of shows and cribs and on cribs and lifestyle lavish lifestyle life of the rich and people are so enamored with it so it's obviously the public is not against people having riches the public is against preachers people who serve the god having riches every time they do something like i say every time they get a car a private jet whatever why do they need a private jet why do they need a private jet nigga why would you need a private jet if you had your own business and you got international affairs you don't want to and you're famous or you know what i mean you can't fucking you ain't getting on no planes and, and you spend all that money you might well get you a private jet y'all can take the gospel everywhere that shit ain't he not getting up if he is getting up and going to the Bahamas on his private jet, that's his business. You know why? Because he made that happen. He put it out there. He said, hey, congregation, this is my plan. This is my vision to expand our ministry. I want us to have a private jet. I want y'all to help and assist in that so we can get this gospel across the world easier, better, faster. Why would we not want that? Why would your congregation not want that? You understand? What would be the, why would you not want that? Why would you frown upon that? He balling out. He balling out, 
and, and, and it's balling out for God. You know what I'm saying? He's not saying, I just want to get a private jet. He's saying, I want a private jet to spread the gospel. You know what I'm saying? People have problems with that shit, though. That's, that's not cool, man. So I'm, I'm really tired of that shit. So I, like I say, but it don't matter. Like I say, I'm not going to step in that realm. So y'all won't never see me being no preacher. And if I am a preacher in the pulpit, I won't be getting no money from it unless it's my career. Unless it's my career. Unless it's my career, man. If I choose to cut it, stop everything and let that be the only thing that I do, like all of these preachers are doing, <laughs> y'all want them to be preachers. Y'all want them to serve y'all and serve y'all the word. Take take the, can control the church. Think about it. A concert, you come to see who? The artist, right? When you come in, and, and it's, it's not, it's no difference. When you come to, to a concert, you come in to see the artist. When you come to church, you come in to see the pastor. The pastor is bringing, depending on how good and charismatic, how well of a speaker he is, how much people feel him, how filled with the Holy Spirit he is. Sometimes, maybe not, you know what I mean? But just pretty much how charismatic and uh, how, you know, how 